Hey, what's up guys? So one of the biggest problems with the Sony a6400 is the small batteries and the poor battery life. And if you're like me, you might need a portable solution to add hours of runtime to the camera while still shooting on location. And that's where small batteries like this come in real handy. These lipstick style power banks are really great because they offer a lot of juice in a really small and lightweight package. But the only real downside to this is that it's not the easiest shape to actually rig up to your camera. So that's where this setup comes in with these adhesive cable straps and a quick release plate that attaches to a camera cage such as this. So all you need to set this up is to have some cable straps with adhesive backing such as the ones you see here. You need one of these field monitor quick release plates such as the one from Newer that I have right here as well as a cage, um, this one specifically for the A6300 but you can also get one specific for the A6400 um, but this one fits the camera just fine. And all this can be found for around $70 on Amazon and including the battery for around $17 to $20 brings the total to around $100 but still that's pretty cheap when you consider how much benefit this brings to your camera setup. So the first thing you gotta do is actually remove the screw from the removable portion of the plate. And once you got that off, you take the adhesive part of the cable strap and just stick it right onto the flat portion of the plate. So something like this, just stick it right on, try to keep it as much in the center as you can. Just press it down, make sure it's nice and stuck on there. And at that point, you can just take your battery place it in there and then wrap the cable around and then pull it nice and tight, which secures the battery to the plate. And I found these to have just about enough friction if you really pull these tight. But if you need a little bit more friction, you can always use gaff tape on the surface of the battery, making it a little stickier and increasing the friction on the surface. But we have that pretty much good to go and now we just have to put the other half of the plate onto the cage. So what I recommend is putting the other half of the quick release plate onto the third hole from the bottom on this small rig cage. And that's just so that the cable doesn't have to run very far across the camera to get into the USB port. And keeping things tidy like that just makes the whole package just a little bit easier to use. So once you got that fixed on there, you can just take your battery and slide it right in, lock it in place. Now it's nice and secure to your camera cage. And just keep in mind also, I find it a little bit easier to have the port coming out the back so that the cable's in the back and then you can plug that straight into your camera. It's a little bit more cumbersome if you have this flipped around. So just make sure that the port is sticking out the back. All right, so a couple other things to keep in mind. These cable straps that I have here do fit the smaller 3000 milliamp hour batteries, but they don't fit the bigger 5000 milliamp hour batteries. So just make sure you check before you purchase these that your battery is actually gonna fit into your cable strap. There's like a whole bunch of different brands, different sizes and different strengths. So just make sure you have the right one that fits the battery that you wanna use. And by no means is this the perfect setup. Um, there's definitely a lot of possibilities out there with different kinds of cages and plates and you know different hot shoe extenders and things like that. So definitely look around, try to find the solution that fits your purpose the best. By no means is this the perfect solution for everyone. And I really recommend that you go figure something out that suits you the best, but I gotta say, this solution worked pretty well for us. We used this setup for a recent wedding to allow the camera to just shoot for hours on end and it worked without a problem. So yeah, this cage setup with the battery works really well for me. But this L-plate from a company called U-Rig actually really intrigued me because it's an L-plate. So it gives you that extra Arca Swiss plate on the side as well as giving you a cold shoe on the side and quarter 20 mounts. So you could you know, mount the battery to the side as well as put the microphone in the cold shoe. And yeah, it just might be a nice simpler option if you don't want to go for a full cage and you just want the L-plate which extends the grip as well as it gives you the extra functionality, that might be another option as well. It is a little bit cheaper, which is also a plus. All right, so hopefully this has been helpful to you. Um, I think it's really great that Sony cameras offer the functionality to be charged with these five volt USB power banks. I just think it's great that you can add all this runtime to your camera for relatively cheap. And the only downside is that you have to figure out how to rig these things up to your camera, which can take a little bit of time. So feel free to check out all the gear that I showed you guys here with the links down below. 
It really helps us out, giving us a really small commission on your purchase with absolutely no additional cost to you. But other than that, thank you guys as always for watching and I'll see you in the next one.